my channel today and we are doing a brand new Sims 4 build challenge video today and so today we are attempting to do Zephyrin's build challenge for the month of February and I kid you not I already broke the rules for this challenge because one of her rules said do not change the roof and you know what I did I changed the entire roof on the first floor because I was like okay I know I can I know I can't change it but I want to change it and so I did but the whole key about this build challenge and challenges in general for builds is always have fun and try your best and that is what I did I tried my best and I had a lot of fun doing this and so I definitely want to try it again with one of her new build challenges that she'll probably be doing in the distant future but if you guys want to check out Zephyrin she's a good friend of mine over on Twitch she's a lovely streamer a genuine kind and honest and positivity person positivity positive person that we all know and love but I will leave a link down below in the description to our twitch channel and I kid you not you guys will not be disappointed because our streams are so like you know lighthearted and kind and they're long streams too which are always fun to kind of come back and every now and then on and off just because you know she makes amazing content and when I say she loves and greets everyone I truly mean it so we love Zephyrin and we love her builds and she loves clutter and that's the tea. You're welcome. <laughs> but anyway, so for this build challenge, I was really having a hard time to actually figure out what I really wanted to do on the interior for the layout because when I, whenever I see like a house on the gallery or just me just building in general or just my own thing, when I have too much roofing on the first floor of the house, I'm like, okay. I have extra space. I can add extra rooms. I can add, add extra boxes to the box of the build. Yeah, um, I was not going to break another rule. My only thing was to change the roof. And that was the one rule I broke. Other ones I was not going to do. So, nevertheless, we okay. <laughs> but I made it work. Where's act? This is actually only a two-bedroom, two-bathroom home. But the funny thing is, one of the bathrooms are actually a one-by-one one, or technically a one by three I think it's a ooh, I think it's like a one by a four by one bathroom or like long ways is one or like I don't know either way it's like a one by one type of bathroom type of situation but it's like a four tile type of thing long way length way but width is one so in a way to know how to like to do the one by one by one, one by two, or whatever a bathroom, you have to have move objects on. And the key thing is to always have a sim in your in your build to play test it just because so you know how well it works. Because when I was finicking around the bathroom on in the in the in the house towards the end, I realized that um the only shower, the only way that you could have a shower in this house is for the one by one is if you have Discovery University and Discovery University actually came with a very good shower in my opinion because there's no walls, there's no door, no nothing. It's just like a shower head and the knobs and that's it. And I think that's like the perfect shower to use in any build, whether you're building like a tiny home or an apartment or some type of like home that doesn't really have room to really um, actually have the whole, you know, shower head stuff. But you just saw that I put baby Yoda and scaled him up to the extreme and put him on the top of the house. The only reason why, because I was actually doing this on the live stream and I had the idea of making this house like very green themed and just having like luscious green type of like, you know, exterior with, with landscaping and some objects. So I decided to actually keep baby Yoda. But the funny thing is, <laughs> If you didn't watch the live stream and yeah, if you, okay, if you were in the live stream, comment down below, but if you weren't, check out the VOD on my second channel, which is just more spring Sims link down below. However, when I was doing this, I was like, I'm going to keep baby Yoda. It's going to be fine. It's going to be great. And then I was like doing this like Romeo and Juliet scenario type of thing where I had like, um, one of the, uh, planter boxes for like the window seal thing. I had one set up where the bathroom on the back of the house for the one by one right there. I had baby Yoda at the, at the top in the awning thing. And then I had another baby Yoda slightly a little bit bigger at the bottom, like looking up and then the other one looking down like Romeo, Romeo, where art thou Romeo, you know, stuff like that. I tweeted, I tweeted the picture too. If you don't follow me on Twitter, link down below. Great time. Um, <laughs> But when I did that, I literally just laughed the entire time because it's so hilarious and it's too funny. I, I adore tweeting too much. Like when I tweet, it either makes sense or it just doesn't 
or just like this makes makes no sense whatsoever. But that's the whole point of Twitter for me, making no sense and just having fun with it. I literally do not know what I'm doing with my Twitter. I'm just having fun with it. I'm having fun with social media and that's what I'm doing now. Having fun playing The Sims and having fun building. So I'm definitely going to start doing more build challenges a lot more often. So I want to attempt to do like another one. The last one I did was like more of like a tiny home to fit the theme of the tiny living stuff pack. But I want to do a different one where it's like who can build the best yellow house or whatever. Like, I don't know. Take this shell, make a yellow house and go wild. Basically, I, I don't know. We'll have to figure it out and see. But that's my brand yellow. And that's me. <laughs> I think I want to do like the ultimate yellow house in the sims 4 you know it might be extreme but i'm gonna attempt to do it and see what happens and also i finally bought a new camera and i also got new like peripherals for my setup and i'm very happy i want to thank the english simmer molly we all love her i adore her videos i adore her as a person but if it wasn't for her elgato videos oh, i would not know what to do how to set it up i only trust people that i know and I only trust their videos to set up things like an Elgato or key lights or, you know, the multi-mount or whatever. So when I watched the video, I was like, oh, thank you. Thank you for those videos because I finally set up my camera, my DSLR. Then I can record face cam videos and have fun with that because I have some videos in mind that require face cam. And apparently you guys like my reactions when I do reaction videos or when I stream a certain game like The Walking Dead or Life is Strange and then my reactions are like out of this world pretty crazy so more face cam videos coming soon to the channel like I got I got content out of the wazoo in my head and that may be a good thing or maybe it'll be a bad thing we'll have to see you never know but I do want to say that when it comes to building for me, I really love utilizing a lot of debug objects. So in case you do not know about debug, you should use it. Trust me. It'll save your build. It'll save your life in real life, honestly, because when you're building, it takes you hours and you're like frustrated on like, on like how many objects you can and cannot use, or you're just like trying to figure out how am I going to make this house look, you know, different and not bland and plain Jane. Always use debug. All the cheats that I be, that I use in my builds will be linked down below in the description, just in case in, just in case you want to you know utilize them yourself. I 100% recommend you do because, like I said, it makes your builds a lot better. Because with Zbug, there's a, like a lot of like hidden detailed objects, like you know small little packages, you know a toilet plunger, you know makeup, like you know your eyeliner, your eye, your makeup palette, like. Little, like literally anything under the sun that you can think of, like everything that your sim uses in like the game is in debug. Literally. If you have base game, every single little thing that your sim does in base game, the objects that they use is in base game. So like I said, always, always use debug. I said base game, always in base game. Like I said, always use debug. It'll save your life. It'll save your sims lives. It'll make your builds look a lot better just saying you just gotta know oh also the funny thing if you're on a budget for your builds i always say um my sims are always broke i truly mean it because my sims are always broke so i realized that um i need to start using debug plants a lot more because one they look a little bit better and two they're free <laughs> and if you don't use the um um the bb dot show live edit objects cheat use that one too because it comes with over a like over a thousand um world objects like everything that you see in the world from the plants the cars literally everything will be in the hidden or the show live edit objects cheat and i think it also comes with the plants as well and they are also free everything is free in debug and the live edit objects so perfect because when you're on a budget mm -mm, use that debug Make your bills look not bland and plain Jane. You're welcome. <laughs> so like I said, this house is only a two bedroom, one bathroom home, I believe so, I think. All I know, I did use a Murphy bed on the top floor. I did. Okay, no, no, no. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom home. I remember because I remember I was actually doing the kitchen and I was like trying to figure out, okay, okay, this is going to work. And it's going to make sense. 
for the kitchen. But the other bedrooms, I wasn't really sure. So I realized that maybe having to like, maybe doing like three bedrooms was like a little bit too much at the very start. So I think probably in the future, I might do two bedrooms and like add like an extra like the uh, recreational room like for, for like painting or an office or, you know, some science-y type of stuff, like add like a backstory to it. So that's what I might do more often in my builds tell stories because I used to do them all the time and I adore telling stories about my builds because it added a lot more character more personality to you know the build itself and it, it kind of made it more interesting so yeah and I'm also working on my save file too I've been on and off with that for the longest time and I always feel bad for like not really uploading you know updates about it or you know speed builds of the sims for that much as I used to but I want to say that they are coming don't worry I think I'm just gonna start posting um speed builds on the weekends or like the weekdays like Friday Saturday Sunday type of thing and going off with that and then posting like whatever videos throughout the week because I'm posting I'm trying to post videos daily but that's never gonna happen for me because I tried it one time and boy let me tell you I was stressed I was really really stressed and having the fact that I was in college I still am I only have two months, two months left until I graduate and then I'm literally done and I can stop crying every five seconds about an exam that I have to do or, or a paper or a discussion post or whatever. Nevertheless, I'm almost done. Yeah. So like I said, I was trying to post daily and it was like too overwhelming for me where I had to do so many assignments in a day and I was, I have two jobs and I go to school full time and I have to drive to school every every now and then, like three times a three times a week and I'm usually there for like a long periods of time and then I have to come home which takes me about 40 minutes to come home and traffic doesn't help so it's a process and surprisingly I'm managing it all pretty well I would say I guess but when it comes to me trying to figure out okay how am I gonna upload a video when I'm gonna upload a video you know stuff like that I really should like start making sit down videos or some type of like IGTV type of uh, you know series session Q&A type of stuff just because I have a lot of thoughts in my head and I feel like I should just like put them out there just because I have thoughts and I have opinions and I just want people to know you know stuff like that but you know that's that's my life and eventually it'll come down to the point where I'm like okay Maybe I should start like realizing that everything will be fine. I don't have to do everything all at once. I need to breathe for a second and just take one step at a time without overwhelming myself. And I'm starting to learn, I'm starting to learn to do that a lot more to take time for myself, not overwhelm myself. And just like, you know, the world's not going to like, you know, it's not the end of the world. I have to like, you know, take care of myself and my mental health. So that's what I got to do for me and only me, nobody else, just me. But this is like, like the time of year when I'm starting to realize that I'm 24 now. Like my birthday was on Saturday and now I'm 24 and life is like catching up to me right now. So I'm thinking, how have I done YouTube for 10 years and I'm still like doing the same exact content? Like I want to upgrade my content somehow and like a lot of you guys give me suggestions and it's great and all and I love that and I appreciate it and I, can, I always put it into consideration but when you give me ideas and I say I'll do them I will do them but it's like the matter of time and like me actually doing it and not second guessing myself like like you are your own worst critic that's like the one thing that everyone says and it's true like you are your own worst critic like you literally criticize your stuff to the point where you don't want to post it or you don't want to like do anything or say anything or change anything and it's like so true and like there, there's a there's points in my life where I'm thinking I don't like this video I don't want to post it but I have to post it but I need to post it I need to figure out what I need to like change but I don't want to change it so man my head like my brain is like out of this world like not great out of this world, like a little bit weird out of this world. And I need to, you know, breathe and just take time and concentrate on, you know, the now and, you know, be in the moment and see things the way they are and, and enjoy life and not take things, not take things for granted. And I really don't, I don't take things for granted because I just don't, I'm not the type of person. So 
and I'm very grateful for the things that I, I have in my life. And I'm very grateful the things that have been given to me and, you know, offered to me. And then, and this like me traveling to places like I wouldn't be traveling to places all over the world because of you guys. Like if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be doing the amount of things that I do now. So I applaud you all. And I love you all so, so much. But I do want to say, I need to start plugging this more. I do it every single time on my on my streams now. Like every chance I get, I always like plug it and I always say it because I think I need to, but I also think that I did a really good job. No, I don't think, I know. I know I did a good job on it because I really, really adore it so much. And it's like one of the things I've always wanted to do. And I've always said I was going to like have it out and stuff like that. Like, and now it's out. I have merch. <laughs> I have merch and I really, really love my merch. And I should have said it at the beginning of the video, but that's okay. But hey, I have merch and I adore my merch. Link down below my Teespring. It's at the very top of the of the description anyway and in the comments. So you can like, you can't miss it basically. But I have merch now and it's really, really cool. And the one thing I really love about my, my, uh, my merch is a definition hoodie. Like I see all the analytics for everything. I love analytics. I love numbers. I love social media, <laughs> but I realized that people really like the definition hoodie a lot. And I uh, thank you for that because one, I am a graphic designer and two, I love colors. And when it comes to being a graphic designer and figuring out, you know, design wise of things and making sure the colors like match right and they don't over clash each other. Yeah. I was having the hardest time figuring out the color scheme that I wanted and I already knew what the color scheme was because I already had it written down. I had all my colors picked out from Adobe Color and I realized that um I'm very indecisive as you can tell in my in all my my speed builds and maybe my creative sims probably. Maybe that's why it takes me like over two hours to make one sim. That's a problem that I need to fix. Anyway, like I said, back to my story. When it when becoming a graphic designer, it's difficult because you have to figure out, okay, what is your brand? How are you going to make it look good? What are you going to do it? Like, what's your brand for? What is your brand about? What's your brand name? What's your brand mission? Like, stuff like that. So I had to figure out what my brand colors were and what my brand was all about and how is it going to portray that through merch and like through, through social media, basically. And surprisingly, it went kind of well. And so I kind of came up with the definition of the spring squad, which I call you guys instead of subscribers or followers because the word subscriber and follower sounds icky and disgusting. So I call you my spring squad because it just sounds better that way. So spring squad is a great community, a very positive, lighthearted community that we try to spread. We, we we're here to spread kindness and positivity wherever we go in the world. And I really, really adore, you know, the definition of it. And it's something that I've always, you know, try to like, you know, put out in the world positivity and kindness and like tell people that, you know, it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to be, you know, it's okay to be, be, you know, never change yourself for other people because when you change yourself, it don't go so well. So don't change for other people, change for you and only you. Like don't force yourself to change because society says you have to change to be, you know, you have to look a certain way, you have to act a certain way, you have to, you know, do things a certain way to be accepted into society or whatever. So, yeah, society today in social media is just out of control. And I've realized that, you know, it's like, it's crazy. It's a crazy doggy dog world and it's not fun. So I realize from watching reality TV, <laughs> Why my I add why I would watch reality TV is because of the circle and I love the circle and it's a Netflix show. Highly recommend that you watch it because one, it's highly entertaining. It's very funny and it's like there are certain characters. I won't spoil anything for you guys if you haven't watched it, but I recommend that you watch it. But it's a very funny reality TV show. Like it's like a basic reality TV show that you know, but it's all about social media and who would, you know, get the most likes and who would get the most, you know, you know, um, influence and stuff like that. It's like one of the things that I've always wanted to be a part of and something that I've always been interested in. So like the circle 
is my show. And I would continue to watch it if there was a season two. If there was a season two, I'd be like, let's go. I'm ready. I want to watch more. <laughs> but it's all about social media, social experiments, all about first impressions. How do you, you know, interact with people on social media? How do you gain influence and stuff like that? And I think it's it's really, really cool just like from a social media standpoint and just me loving social media in general. But, you know, that's my opinion. What do you think? And if you guys have any recommendations for any TV shows that I should watch on Netflix or Hulu or Disney Plus, which might add the Proud family is coming back to Disney Plus, and I'm very excited about that. But I'm also very set, upset that they took away Lizzie McGuire. So um, I'm upset about that. I'm happy, but yet upset. Ups upset about Lizzie McGuire because I've been waiting for too long for that. But also the Proud family, too. So, you know... It's a love-hate relationship right now with Disney Plus, but I still adore it because they have my old my OG movies and TV shows on there. Xenon, all three movies, The Proud Family, the actual TV show, The Proud Family movie, all the OG like early 2000 movies, the 13th year. Ooh. Smart House, okay, let's just be real here. Disney Channel was in its prime and was actually really good back then, but now it's just like, what is it? I don't understand. <laughs> I really don't. I really, really don't. So that's my tangent for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, But back to the build. <laughs> I literally go on a rant every single time that I can for a build because I have things to say and I just want to express it in a video because when I have, you know, 30 minutes, maybe 25 minutes to actually talk, I have to fill in that, like, you know, that void, that content of something of talking of some sort, you know? it's a struggle. <laughs> but for this bedroom, I had the most hardest time figuring out what I wanted to put in here because at first I was going to put a double bed. But then I realized, hold up, Murphy beds actually come in handy for this build. So I actually used one of the good Murphy beds, I think. No, yes, I used one of the good Murphy beds because the cheaper one actually kills your sim which is not a good thing so i utilized one of the murphy beds and it made space so much easier to place things around i added a bookcase and also a dresser on the side and then i wanted to also put one of the desks but it, i didn't want to put it in the bedroom so i put it out in the hallway to utilize that space with the laptop because i feel like with the laptop it's portable you can take it where, wherever you want however you want and with a like a standard like a standalone computer you can't take it so i think having a laptop which is in base game might i say is so perfect for pretty much any build act i would say especially like for teenagers or kids or you know even like young adults or adults that are you know freelancing or writers or lawyers or whatever or on the go on vacation they could work from home if they wanted to so that is what I have to say about that. But here, as you can see, I'm working on the one by three, one by three bedroom, bathroom, not bedroom, bathroom. And I kid you not, it took me a good solid like 30 minutes to figure out this or technically 17 minutes to figure out this bathroom because it was like the hardest time. But the sink was the only problem Like the, the, the toilet and the shower was easy, like totally fine. But the sink, though, was the issue. So I had to figure out how I was going to make it work. And in the end, I made it work. And I'm very proud of my, about myself about that. And it looks good. But I really couldn't cl clutter it the way that I wanted. And I'm totally fine with that. So we're all good in the hood with that. But as you can see, like, towards, like, the back area of the house and the back patio, you can see, the, like, the large Yoda and the small Yoda. The small Yoda is in the awning where the window's at and the big Yoda's where it is on the floor that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Big Yoda, small Yoda, Romeo at the bottom, Julia, Julia at the, the top. I just think it's like very funny and just hilarious in itself. Romeo, Romeo, where art thou? Romeo, something, something, something. And that's the T for the whole thing. But in case you guys want to download this shell, the original shell for yourself, if you ever want to attempt this, yourself to practice your building skills i will leave a link down below in the or well not a link actually i will leave a link down below to the online gallery to the website of the online gallery but i will also leave a link down below to my actual shell and if you want to download the shell on the gallery in game 
My origin ID is just Spring Sims or the hashtag Spring Sims, which is on the gallery, I believe so. If not, then it's under Zephyrin. Uh, I think Zephyrin underscore TV, I believe. Everything will be linked down below. Everything will be in the description, the correct stuff for your eyes to see. But like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please go let me know down in the comments below as always on what next, what type of build challenge should I do next? I see there are some floating around on the YouTube and the gallery, but let me know what build challenge I should do next. And that is all, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys all in the very next video. Bye. Thank you.